This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, a domain, or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace and use the discount code ANDREMAR. places never easy to get to getting in is one thing getting out it's gonna be a little bit harder made it. G'day there guys. Today I'm continuing to explore some of the southwest coast between Lewin and Cape Naturalist. And I've come to a really interesting location. Uh, this is what I refer to as Twisted Falls. Uh, this location was uh, shared with me with another photographer from the southwest called Mark Rogers. And I'll share his details uh, in the description below. Mark and I have been, um, you know, talking over Instagram and uh, and YouTube, uh, probably for uh, for nearly two years, and we uh, caught up last year, and he shared this location with me. Not a lot of people know about this location, so I'm a little bit hesitant to share exactly where it is. It's a really interesting location because not only is it a little bit challenging to find and get to, uh, but there's a waterfall, obviously there. But in front of the waterfall, there is these uh, twisted and mangled trees, which, uh, which is why Mark has called it uh, the Twisted Falls. And of course, in amongst all of these twisted trunks and branches, I have to find a composition. And it is very, very challenging because uh, all of the bark, it's a beautiful, texture and there's a little bit of green moss on the bark but 
you've got to find a uh, some sort of pattern or composition in the foreground that doesn't take away from the background and obviously the waterfall is going to be the main subject of any image here and how we can incorporate the these twisted and uh, turning branches and trunks is going to be the challenge for today. It's around about midday and when I came uh, up to the location there was lots of cloud but just as I came into the falls I noticed that the cloud was um, uh, breaking down and, and parting and we've got lots of sunlight at the moment which is not ideal for waterfalls. So hopefully the clouds will um, just cover the sun and I'll get some nice flat and more even light which is really what I'm after for this location. If the sun just comes beaming in then I'm going to get uh, the, the image or the scene is going to be uh, there's going to be far too much contrast so uh, that's going to make trying to take a image here really really challenging. Anyway I'm going to have a bit of a look around and see whether I can find a composition here and then when I get set up I'll take you through my shot. This uh, area is quite a challenging little location because it's so confined and you've got all of these branches and trees that are um, kind of in your way. I'd love to be kind of standing in the middle of that and taking the shot because the waterfall is coming out of the corner of this area. You've got a rock face on both sides, the left and the right hand side. And while out here you haven't got a lot of trees in the way, this angle isn't great because you've got all the, uh, the rock on this rock face kind of cutting off the water as it's falling down the waterfall. Which is a shame. I might head back here and just have a bit more of a look. Might be a better angle back there and I might be able to uh, get some nice foreground. I found myself a pretty good location. What I was trying to do was find a spot where I could use these, these branches here as a leading line. But in this particular location, it's quite, um, quite in front of the waterfall, which is quite good. And I've got a, quite a thick branch that twists around almost in a complete knot. And what it's doing is it's creating this window. And I'm, I'm using it to frame my main subject, which of course is the waterfall. So it took me a little bit of time to fiddle around with the camera and the tripod, just to make sure that the camera is in the right position, so that I've got some of the of this twisted branch in the bottom of my image, and then it sweeps around across the top of my image as well. And I'm pretty happy with with the composition that I'm getting. Now in terms of settings, I have to play around with the settings a bit as the light is changing quite quickly. Hopefully I'm going to get um, some cloud, that's what I really really want. So at the moment my, my shutter speed, what I'm aiming for my shutter speed to be is a third of a second. Around about a third to probably a half of a second, given the height of this waterfall, is probably going to be pretty good. Um, and then. I'll use an ISO, the base ISO for the camera, which is 64. And so from that, the, um, the f-stop will pretty much work itself out, the aperture. It'll probably be quite a shallow depth of field. So what I'll 
have to do is take a series of shots and focusing them at different parts throughout the scene because I've got this branch here that you can see is in the image and it's only uh, probably 30 to 40 centimeters away from the lens so it's quite close. I'll have to focus just for um, this part of the image, make sure that that's in focus. I'll probably have to do one more at the, the back of this branch uh, in front of me. And then I've got a couple of other branches kind of in the mid ground. I'll focus for that and then I'll also focus for the waterfall itself. So the lens I'm using is the 14 to 30 on the Z7. I'm going to put a polarizer on there because even when um, I get the flat light, there'll still be some light bouncing around off the wet surfaces of the rock and also the surface of the water. So I'm gonna put the, uh, the polarizer on to just make sure that uh, I can cut out any of that glare that I get. And it'll also uh, make sure that any of the greens that I capture in the scene are gonna be nice and, and vibrant, which is also important. When people ask me uh, which filters they should get, I always recommend that they get a polarizer as their first filter. I use it in probably 95% of my uh, landscape and seascape images. Even if it's not direct light, it's, it's about cutting out any of the glare and, and that distraction that you get in your images. So if you don't have any other filters, make sure that you have at least a polarizer and, uh, and stick that on the end of your lens. Before I share the images I captured, I just wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I think the best thing I've found about having a website with Squarespace is just how easy it is to update everything. Whether it's the image gallery or the workshops that I offer or the blog that I share, it can all be updated quickly by dragging and dropping content to where I want it. I don't have to worry about any coding, I don't have to worry about any of the hosting or even installing any updates because Squarespace sorts all of that out for me. So I can just focus on creating the content that I want to share with you guys. There's a heap of support material available to help you set up your website. And if you do have a question, you can use their award-winning 24-7 customer support, which I've found really helpful. You can start your free trial at squarespace.com. And if you do check them out and you want to go ahead with a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Andrew Ma to get 10% off your first purchase. Now, let's check out those images. That is it for this location. I probably didn't get as much cloud cover as I was hoping for, but with a bit of luck, the bracketed shots that I took will have captured enough detail of the scene to make that final image. Thanks once again to Mark Rogers for sharing this location with me. If you do want to check out more of Mark's work, he takes photographs all over the Southwest, so I highly recommend you check out his Instagram account. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you like this video or the images that I captured, please click the like button. Subscribe for more content like this. Unfortunately, I don't uh, upload on a regular basis. I'm just not able to do that. So if you do subscribe and you click the notification bell, you'll get a notification when I upload my next video so you don't miss it. But until next time, guys, thanks very much for watching.